hear a bright Philly voice. <laughs> But I swear, I just laid down. <laughs> Sorry, I feel really weird right now. I'm like all jittery. I think I'm like asleep, and uh, um, isn't there a word for that? Loopy? I'm loopy because I'm like loopy, like lack of loopy leaps. Sleep. I think you should just go to sleep. Alright, so what did you just say? We've done a lot since 3 o'clock when we woke up. Yes, we woke up at 3 in the morning because we went to bed at like 7 at night. But Which is actually a normal schedule for some people. people yeah. A lot of people wake up at 3 in the morning, so we're on a normal schedule. It's kind of extreme, but it's normal now. I mean, it's, I, I it's probably like not going to stay. You know, I kind of like the schedule though. <coughs> because and I got real caffeine because I have a really bad headache. We went to Starbucks. Okay, first, first we woke up, and DJ took a shower, and I cleaned the room, but we still have a little more cleaning to do. There's a lot of dust in there. And we went to Starbucks because we were going to make coffee, and there's something weird with the coffee pot. It sounds like there's water in there, and there's nothing in there, so we're I like... I think it's supposed to be like that. I think it like... sounds like there's a leak in there or something. I don't know. <coughs> it's weird. How could there be a leak in a metal pot? It cracked? I don't... It doesn't... It's not really I feel metal. like it's supposed to be like that. I don't think so. Keep it warm. That's weird. But anyway, so then we're like, okay, well, let's go to Starbucks. Because DJ had a headache, and we like Starbucks. And so we went there, and DJ got this protein thing. This thing is, like, an uh, adult Lunchable. So I used to get Lunchables for lunch, even though this is, like, extreme breakfast. I used to get Lunchables for <coughs> breakfast and dinner. It had a hardball egg, okay? And it came with salt. I didn't use the salt. But I didn't realize it had salt because we were in the dark in the car. I had a hard boiled egg right here, and I ate that thing in like two seconds. <laughs> and then right here, it had like cut up apples that were delicious. It had grapes, and it had like a, a really compact like bread circular bread thing. That I don't even know what it what you'd call it, but it was good. It was kind of sweet, and it had this honey peanut butter, peanut butter honey. that I keep eating. And as you can see, he's a little too excited <coughs> about this. Well, like, <laughs> I put the peanut butter honey stuff on the little bread thingy that I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and going back and forth from the little pe peanut butter and honey bread thingy to the apples was like a perfect mixture. Cause like, I used to make like peanut butter and apple sandwiches. So it was like, it was nice because like the peanut butter and honey <laughs> bread thing, you kind of like made your, your palate dry. This is like and then you would go to the apple thing and it would sweeten up the palate, but kind of <laughs> moisturize it. So it was like a, still a juicy experience at the same time. And all this time, I'm, go I'm working off of the protein that I gained from the hard boiled egg. So it's like a perfect mixture. And then you have the grapes as well, which kind of didn't really work, but at the same time, like they're nutritious and um. <laughs> great review, DJ. <coughs> great review of the protein box from Starbucks. <laughs> so that was my review of the protein bistro box. I, I found this on the bottom and I put it back and it says bistro, so that's what it's called. Um, it's forty nine dollars and five cents. I mean four dollars and ninety five cents. Which is very pricey for a stupid little box of fruit. And it says and an egg free and bread. Uh, well, let's see. It says. Cage free egg. I don't know what that means. White cheddar cheese. Oh, it had cheese too. Oh yeah. The cheese. The cheese went with the egg. It was. No, it was seriously. The cheddar cheese like had two cheddar cheese stick things. Like they're like triangles, and I ate it with the egg, and it made the egg more pleasurable. <coughs> and then it says honey peanut butter spread, multi grain. This is what the bread's called. Multi grain, mousse, muesli bread. Wow. M-U-E-S-L-I. It was good. And apples and grapes. Yeah. Alright, so looks like we're doing our little image backup <coughs> today. I'm going to from this true image home 2012. I'm going to put it on my computer. I'm going to do an image backup of it. I'm going to move it over to the solid state drive if it's possible. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. We are going to attempt <coughs> to install this. 
the solid state drive. Oh. We'll have more hard, hard drive space and it will be fast. Nice and fast. And yeah, this hard drive is the same hard drive I've been using, I'm pretty sure, since this like, hard I've, drive. Had a, I've had a computer out in the garage that I used to record on way before Terabyte. And I think I just formatted and stuck in this computer because I didn't feel like so buying a new one. We're using a really old and, hard drive. Um, I'm thinking, well, I'm really like hyped up right now. <laughs> <coughs> he like sucked this down. Look at mine. Look at mine, and then look at his. It's just gone. I'm thinking that there could be an issue with the hard drive right now. <laughs> Holy crap, DJ! You had too much coffee at once. What's wrong with you? I'm thinking there could be an issue with the hard drive. Oh. Because I have a program called Oslogix Boost Speed, which I just use, like it's a cheap program that I just like run like stuff every once in a while to see if everything's like running okay, like cleans the registry, defragments, all that stuff. You don't absolutely need on a PC, but it's nice to have it because I mean you get like some boost from your speed, your boost speed. Anyways. Um, so I, I ran that. I, another good part about having Oslogix boost speed is it like checks the disks for errors and stuff. I mean, I, I always gotta like clarify because there's a lot of assholes that always be like, oh, we should've gotten a Mac. Which would happen on a Mac too. Like it's not just like PC versus Mac. Like they both have hard drives. <laughs> and so the hard drive, it has an error that when you, when you run to fix, it, it fixes it. Like temporarily then you restart and then it has an error again when you run the scan again so I'm feeling there's something wrong with the hard drive I don't but the thing is I'm not sure which hard drive it is it doesn't really specify but I just know there's an error somewhere on a hard drive I'm not really sure it could definitely be the C drive which is what I'm gonna replace this with but if it's not then oh well because I really just want to replace it anyways this is my conclusion I came to by the way the other day when I was trying to figure out if we should get a new computer I'm going to wait for Ivy Bridge to come out and when it does come out which is what I say April 8th yeah sometime in April I think it's April 8th <clears throat> they're releasing the Ivy Bridge processors when it comes out I'm gonna be one of those freaking on the edge people and just get it as soon as it comes out even though it's probably gonna be bleeding edge and like have a lot of problems which is actually what I did with this computer, and it's perfectly fine. I've had I have I've had the Core i7 before pretty much anyone else I knew. They're like, "What's a Core i7?" Because I had it. This is the what the first. This is the 920. I believe that's the first um, Core i7 that ever came out. Ivy Bridge, I think, is the third generation. I think. So, and I think Sandy Bridge is the second generation. I haven't really done much research on it. Usually, when he says he thinks, he's right. <clears throat> so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that what I have is. The first generation. So if Ivy Bridge is double the speed of Sandy Bridge, then I don't even know what bridge I am, but <laughs> <laughs> if Ivy Bridge is double the speed of Sandy Bridge, and this is older than San Sandy Bridge, then Ivy Bridge must be like four times faster than this. I, I don't even know. That's why I'm really excited for Ivy Bridge, you know? And um, I, I just like living on the bleeding edge, you know, that's just how I live, you know? I always get stuff right when it comes out. I mean, it, it works for me. You know? I know. <laughs> so yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna do this whole right. thing. And I got homework. I've I've gotta work on some school stuff. And uh installing it. What are you doing? You're gonna die. <laughs> Run! I'm running. Pull your pants up, Justin Bieber. I'm gonna die. I can see your boxers. <laughs> Cronus True Image Home 2012, here I come. What are you doing? You'll see. I just set a Cronus True Image 2012 home, or home 2012, to do a full backup of my entire be in my C way. drive. <laughs> and I used to connect. What are you doing? Get out of, get out of the, my little. I'm connecting too. Dude, dude. And it seems like it's gonna take a long time. I'm doing it onto this this little uh, Seagate hard drive over here. Um, I, I prefer Western Digital hard drives, but I mean. That's what I have right now, so I'm gonna use it. Looks like it's gonna take a long time. I'm still calculating how much time is left, and I don't see any progress in the bar. I probably should have done it to an internal drive so it would have been faster, but I don't know. All right, so I guess when this is done, um, I'm just gonna switch over to the new hard drive. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I've never done this before, so uh, wish me luck. Well, and come up as far as you can. Serena's doing yoga. Straight. Okay, so either your hands are here, I can't see or what your she's knees doing. can be bent and the hands can be on the floor to make that happen, or if the flexibility is there for you, 
you can do it with straight legs like this. So you can choose which variation feels best for you. From there you can step your... I wouldn't recommend doing yoga with a connect. I keep thinking that she's like trying to do gestures. I'm like going like this, but it's gone now. Place the back knee on the ground. And just... All right, so Sabrina's taking the computer out, told her to just unplug everything, and then she's gonna tie it all up with her hair tie, so we don't lose all the cables. And I, I figured it out. What I'm gonna do, and I'm, I'm surprised no one really suggested this in the comments, but oh well. Um, you guys have a lot of smudges. Hold on. So a lot of people thought that this was impossible. Well, it's not impossible at all. It's actually very, very possible to replace my current hard drive with a new hard drive and keep all the operating system and all the files and everything without having to reinstall anything and just move it over from this my current hard drive over the new hard drive with the operating system applications files everything all the settings everything is in place and apparently it's very very possible and there shouldn't really have any issues that's what I'm hoping at least um, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna replace the hard drive unless there's another spot which I don't think there is um, we're just gonna switch the hard drive out with this and then we're gonna put the computer back in and I have this disc that I just burned which is an Acronis true image um, boot disc and I'm gonna boot from that disc and I already had back up backed up the entire hard drive onto this external hard drive so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug the external hard drive in put the boot disc in boot from the disc it's gonna, uh, I guess, ask which, like, where the file is, that the backup file. I'm gonna find the, the image I made on there, click on it, it's gonna restore all of it to this solid state drive, and I'll be back to where I was before, except with a different hard drive. Be careful, baby! I like how it has a light. You too. Baby, if you're gonna be doing that, you better put a plastic thing on the side of that so you don't make any I'm static done. electricity. I'm done anyway. <coughs> Let's take this yep. thing out and get this thing. We actually have an air, we bought air can. We bought this a while back because we, we, thought, we, were gonna do this a while we back. thought we might do this a while back but now we're doing it now. Um, we're going to clean all the dust out of my computer since we're here and um, you know it's just a good time because the computer's out. It's going to get rid of all the dust, blow it right outside, have dust fly everywhere. It's going to be fantastic. We should record it in slow motion. Dust war. No, war? Not. But, um, carry, carry the computer. Usually I just put the plastic thing on the end of the nozzle so I don't like create static electricity with the metal and I just vacuum out the dust which a lot of people tend to think that that's a bad thing to do and it might cause static electricity still but it doesn't. Like no one, I've done it all my life and I've never had an issue. So I mean if you really think that, like if you really feel strongly that it's going to create static electricity that's your thing, but I've never had a problem. I'm putting it on like a freaking thousand dollar computer and I haven't had an issue. I did it on a crappy computer and I didn't have an issue. I do it all the time, so... I mean, I'm not telling you to do it. Don't, don't do it. It's bad. Come on. Because I don't want your computer to break. And if you do do it, if you do do it, and your computer breaks, it's not my fault. But I do it all the time and I don't have any issues, that's all I'm saying. How much dust is in there? My dad thinks I should use the leaf blower. <laughs> How much dust is in there? Oh! Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh, it's coming all towards me. Over your mouth. Maybe we should use a leaf blower. This is going to be worse if we use a leaf blower. We can stand well, back though. Well, I guess it would blow it away from us. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm very used to one of these things. Just unplug the lights. I'll do that. I'm wasted if I'm going to use a leaf blower. Don't waste it. I just got, I just got rid of a lot of dust on top. You should vlog it. Oh, you are? <laughs> what do you think? It'll be a new, a new way. You can start a, a new business. <laughs> called blowing your... Is your computer, computer dusty? Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take care of it in five easy seconds. <laughs> I just... Start back up a bit. Yeah, you need to stay far back. Is your computer dusty? We'll take care of five easy payments of nine 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 nine. Dude, that I don't know if they can see it, but that, that really works. <laughs> that really works. 
Your fan, it's a good test for your fans, too. I don't think that's good, though. <laughs> It's really hard to see in the camera. Come on, don't break anything. Now you gotta turn it the other way. No, I don't think you even touched anything in here except for the fans. Is there any dust in there? Yeah. But we need to use, I think we should use that thing for the rest. Because it's like all up inside it, you can't. Yeah, to turn around. It's really making the fence spin. It's kind of making me nervous. But I mean, the fence spin when you use this thing too. Last angle. Are you recording? You hear that? Your fan was going too fast. That seriously worked. Don't worry guys, he wasn't that close, as you can see, he wasn't close, like, that close to... Well, take a look at all the dust that came out of the computer and went out there. Like, that's not dirt, that's freaking dust from my computer. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs>